So a long, long time ago, I did a beer review for Carob Lager, and since that review, it has been my best viewed, highest viewed video across every single review. It's sitting, I think, just over 700 views, which is absolutely awesome. I hadn't even realized it was that much till maybe a few months back. And I remember getting this one comment on the video saying, Hey, have you ever heard of Stag Lager? And I'm like, no, I haven't. Never heard of it, never ever seen it. Um, so then many months later, this is a good, good year and a bit later, I'm talking with my friend Darren about that Carob video and how many views it has. And I'm like, yeah, they were mentioning this beer Stag and that I should probably get it. So what do you know, later that same day after talking to Darren about the care of lager and looking for stag all this time. I'm going to my beer store, um, just just return a good amount of empties, and I turn the corner in their beer section, and what do I see? A six pack of stag. Who, who knew? Who knew that was going to be the outcome? I sure didn't, but that's just how the universe works, I guess. So let's get into this, guys. Beer, 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 ba beer, ba beer, beer, beer. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to me, Mate Brewski, from the Rooski Brewski Review. And today, the beer I have for you guys, a bunch of you, what I would assume, are very excited for this now that you've seen the title of the video. And yes, today we are doing Stag Lager from Trinidad and Tobago, part of the Carib Brewery, it seems to be. Yes, it seems to be like that. So we have Stag Lager, quality lager beer, coming in at 5.2% alcohol by volume, and no listed IBUs on the very green, slightly red labeled can, or can, can. This is a bottle. It's a bottle. It's, it's clearly a bottle. No IBUs on the bottle, no IBUs on the website, no IBUs on untapped, but it's a lager, so I'm guessing very, very low on the uh, bitterness units, but yeah, it's, it's, it's funny because it's a small bottle. It's only 275 mils, so we're going to crack this bad boy open, but I need to find a bottle opener, and just like that, I have probably one of Carob's competitors, Red Stripe bottle opener, so let's, let's crack this bad boy open. Let's see what we got. This I do. I have garbage. I do. Over there. Boom. Easy. Done. Peasy. What am I pouring it into? Rouge River Tulip Style Glass. Because yay! I haven't used this glass in a while. I'm quite excited for it. Uh, we're not gonna pour all the beer. We're gonna do about half, just so I can enjoy the enjoy the last bit afterwards. But looking at the beer itself, fairly golden, yellow in color. Looks like a typical lager. Very very clear. Not too much head has really accumulated on the top there, but. Looking, looking so far so clear. Looks like, looks like beer. Let's have a smell. On the nose, slightly skunky, a little bit of white breadiness going on. Uh, nothing too, too crazy. Give it a little bit of a uh, agitation. Bready. A little bit of corniness. I'm getting a bit of like a cardboardy sort of aroma off it, meaning that it's somewhat oxidized. But not too too bad. A little bit of a skunkiness, obviously from the green bottle. Green bottle beers always have some bit of skunk because they are light struck. But yeah, not too bad of an aroma. It smells like a regular lager, maybe a little bit of citrus added in there. But not too bad. Let's have a sip. On the sip, skunky. Um, slight little citrus notes as well. I don't know why, but that's what I'm getting. Uh, skunky, a little bit of white bread, slight corn. Let's have another one, and yeah, I do need another one. I, I definitely do because I didn't pick up as much as I hoped in the first one. So cheers, everybody. Let's keep on drinking. Yeah. <clears throat> Skunky, a little bit of citrus, but I think that's more of just the skunk, and it's, it's almost a slightly acidic. Um, white bready notes, 
Um, nothing really much going on. It's light. It's refreshing. Um, but it's it's there's nothing crazy about it. It's just beer. It's it's bready, slightly citrusy, slightly skunky beer. It's not as skunky as say Heineken or something like that, or Stella. But it's not bad. It, it's nothing crazy in, in terms of flavor. Like I said, breadiness, dare I say light caramel, but not really. Um, it's just it's just a solid, solid Caribbean lager. And I, I can't really, I really can't go more, much more into detail about that. It's, it's a simple, easy drinking lager. Yeah, slight corniness to it, but not as much as other um, American lagers. Just light, refreshing, 5.2%. Can't go wrong. Not bad. Not bad at all. Looking on the bottle, stag, lager, quality lager, beer, 5.2% ABV, unknown IBUs. Boom, here you go to see it again. On the back, it just says imported by Antuga. Uh, Antuga. Um, Limited from St. John's Barbados, blah, 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 blah. Um, showing a bunch of other stuff for, for which companies it goes through, depending on where it's going. Um, best before, seafront, there is a best before date, clearly labeled. And it's best before May of 2020, which is awesome. Pretty much it for the, uh, for the green bottle. Nothing fancy here either. Nice little logo, but fairly, uh, fairly simple. Fairly, fairly simple. On the website, however, it looks like you do have a solid description or some some sort of a some sort of bit here. And the website is carabrewery.com. You go here, you go to our brands, and you do find Stag. And there is a big three paragraph um, thing uh, description, and it says. A helmet and a headset can't muffle the sounds of your heart pounding in your chest. Your gloved hands infuse themselves to the wheel and you won't let go until it's over. Your co-driver makes one final adjustment to the course and looks at you with a grin and a thumbs up. We are good to go, he says. Adrenaline floods through every muscle in your foot. What am I saying? That's not what I'm reading. Adrenaline floods every muscle, but your foot remains steady on the accelerator. The engine is roaring, but soon it will sound like a swarm of 10,000 bees. Go, go, go. Every turn of the wheel and every shift of the gear in sync with the flurry of your co-driver's instructions. Nothing but a blur of green on either side. You can, you can feel loose asphalt under the tires being strewn in every direction as they maneuver every corner with the screech of a banshee. Nothing but dust and white smoke behind you and a certainty of victory in front of you because this is the best time for this and every, and every stage, okay? At the finish line, you step slowly out of your car, helmet in hand, wanting a stag to celebrate and to quiet your mind. It's the only beverage for a man who is both a hero and a formidable racing adversary. So I'm guessing they're marking it to people who love to race cars. So that's pretty cool. Stag is a European style lager with a distinct, robust flavor and a lingering but gentle aftertaste. Both its taste and its name are indicative of what true masculinity is. Forgettable, unforgettable strength and character. It appeals to the male consumer who embodies these characteristics and who appreciates a beer that reminds him and everyone around him of exactly who he is. Specifications, ABV, they're listing 5.4 to 5.9, depending on where you are. But here, sitting at 5.2. Interesting um, description, to say the least. I mean, it's, it's race cars. And um, race cars are always cool. Can't, can't lie about that. Um, the actual description of the beer, pretty, pretty simple. Uh, robust flavor and lingering but gentle aftertaste. I can get behind that. I'm not 100% sure in the whole uh, masculinity thing. I don't really know what they were trying to, what their angle was with that. Um, but I guess, you know, because they're in a different part of the world, maybe that's how they, that's how their marketing works down there. But up here, I mean, beer is beer and everybody drinks beer here. So that's something interesting. Um, 
I, I'm kind of lost on the whole racing thing. I know it puts you in like a, in, in a scenery moment sort of thing, but I think in, for my personal taste, it's, it's quite over the top of trying to uh, sell a beer, in my opinion, or give it a description. It seems a little far-fetched for me, but hey, that... Hey, you do you, you do you, Carib. You do you. Moving over to on top, Stag Lager has been given a solid 2.9 bottle caps out of 5, and that's out of just over 5,100 ratings. And finally, if you want to go pick up a Stag Lager, it's available at the beer store. And how much is it available for at the beer store, you're asking me? Um, well, it is... Six bottles in this 275 ml bottle. I don't know why it's so small. It's uh, regular, regular 12.35, but right now it's on sale for 12.50. As of watching this, it's probably back up to 12.35, but not too bad. I mean, it seems a little expensive since you're getting a lot less beer for your money. Also comes in two fours of also the 275 ml bottles, and that's for 48.80. Again, seems quite overpriced. Um, for being a, a, a sub 341 mil bottle. 341, 335, or 355 seems to be the standards. This 275 seems to be just a little, little, in a sense. But hey, overall, it's a pretty interesting beer. It's not a, nothing crazy, nothing super amazing, but it's still a solid, solid lager. The skunked, uh, the skunked aspect to it from the green bottle kind of adds a little bit of extra flavor to this. Um, yeah, it, it's slightly bready, a little corny, touch of caramel, seems to be a little bit of citrus that sort of pops up due to, I think, the skunkiness, and also can be come across, can come across as almost like acidic, in, in a good way though, not in an off-putting way, in, in a really good way. So overall, out of all beers and green bottles, this is definitely one of my more favorites. I do prefer this, actually, over a Heineken. Um, not as much as a Stella, but definitely over a Heineken, in my opinion. So that has that going for it. But overall, I think I'm just going to finish this and get ready to rating. So cheers, everybody. So cheers, everybody, on the final sip. Let's get ready to ratings and wrap this thing up. Stag Lager from Trinidad and Tobago. The Carib Brewery. It's interesting. I said is all I can really say about this beer. There's not much else to add. Solid, solid six out of ten for me. Nothing special, but pretty damn good. Presentation-wise, to be honest, uh, I'm not the biggest fan of the presentation, both in the bottle. The website has a really long, drawn-out scene in a sense for their description and it just seems very out of place for me then again coming from a different area different beer culture um so that's a thing but i do like how they do have a best before date clearly labeled right on the front of the can you're not going searching for it it's right there in the top right corner so that's really great to see overall presentation solid solid five out of ten for me but that sort of just wraps it up. I don't know. It was a good... It's a really good beer. It's a lot better than I was ever expecting. Um, and I think... I honestly don't really have much else to say about the beer. It's it's solid. It's interesting. Small bottles. High price. Wouldn't get it again personally. Uh, but I know a lot of you were wanting to see what, what the deal is with Stag and my opinions on it. So here they are. It's solid. It's a solid beer. Uh, nothing fancy. Nothing crazy. But... Good stuff. Before I leave you guys, if you have any comments, questions, or beers you want to review in the future, leave all that information down in the comment box below. If you want to go ahead and like this video or subscribe to me, Maple Rushki, it would be greatly appreciated as well. And with all that said, that's going to do it for me, Maple Rushki. Like I always say, crack a beer and enjoy. Cheers. Now the fun part about small beers is it takes no time to fill your glass. See, see, look at that. Under like, under like four seconds. It's perfect. Cheers.